Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I have my October hits and misses. Now this month I only have a few items to share with you guys, only one miss. I felt like this month wasn't as experimental as I would have wanted it to be just because there's just been so many crazy things happening this month and you know what? It's fine. I was working while it was already in my collection and I have a few things to share with you guys. So I'm going to start off with the one thing that I am wearing which is a bright brown lipstick. <laughs> So I'm wearing the NYX Lip Slate in the color Downtown Beauty and this is actually the first time I'm wearing this on my lips um, but I actually wore lip slates throughout the whole entire month just because they were easy to apply, they weren't drying and they felt like an actual liquefied lipstick and that's what I like about these. I feel like you get a lot more product than a soft matte lip cream so I feel like in a sense you do get more for your money. I feel like this is the same price as a soft matte lip cream if I'm not mistaken and the other color that I've been wearing a lot is Sandstorm, um, which is this really nice neutral nude. It's definitely neutral. It's not cool tone, not warm in the middle. So I really enjoy these a lot and if you haven't tried these out already and you have dry lips, definitely check these out. A few months back I filmed a Walmart Beauty Box unboxing video and that video actually was pretty interesting. I tried out this new subscription service that costs five dollars, really inexpensive, and I got this hair gel in the box and I was like, wait a second, I don't use hair gel and I you know, I don't really know how to incorporate this into, you know, my routine, but I ended up learning how to use this and I figured out that when I have my hair up, whether it's a ponytail or a bun, I will mix this in with a little bit of hair oil and I will just slick my hair back. This doesn't make my hair crunchy, it's actually really movable and what I like about it is that throughout the day, my shorter hairs won't fall out of my bun and everything will just stay intact, just how I styled it in the morning and that's what I really love about this product. This is like a very small travel size but I feel like it's going to last me a long time. I feel like this is going to last me a year, not going to lie, because I don't use hair gel often. Um, but when I do, I know that I can rely on this one. However, I know for sure that this brand is not cruelty free. This is the Got To Be Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Gel. And I'm trying to make a point to make my skincare, hair care, body care cruelty free um, as soon as possible. You know, I'm obviously trying to work through some products before I can, you know, buy the cruelty free products. So that's where I'm at currently. When I evacuated my house, I was staying with my uncle and my cousin was there and she actually let me use her Alba Botanica Hawaiian Detox Cleanser. It's an anti-pollution volcanic clay hypoallergenic face wash and I actually really really enjoy this and she told me to find this at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I was on the hunt for this stuff. This stuff is so good. It's a very light cleanser and it has these little small black exfoliants of volcanic clay and I just feel like it really takes off my makeup. It's perfect as a double cleanse and it just gets the job done. I actually found this in the sales section. I got it for $4 and at TJ Maxx it would have been originally $7.99 and then at other places it would have been $10. There's no animal testing, artificial colors, synthetic fragrances, parabens, phthalates, or harmful sulfates. So this stuff is really good for you and I kind of want to venture into this brand because I've seen it a lot but I haven't really tested out the waters, you feel me? So if you've had tried this brand before, let me know what you like about it. In my collection, I only have one facial oil, and this is the Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil. Looks like this, and I have only been using this primarily to take off my eyelashes, just because, as you may know, um, throughout the past month and a half, maybe even two months, my lashes, uh, not necessarily my lashes, but my upper lash line has just been raw. And I'm going to share with you guys the miss for this month on why my lash line became fleshy, raw, irritated, all that nasty stuff. And so when I did want to wear fake eyelashes, say for a tutorial, and I wanted to take off the lashes, this is what I would use it for. Um, I am trying to find other brands that are inexpensive and in the drugstore that are cruelty free. 
um, you know, facial oil wise, because I feel like I don't really see facial oils on the market. Um, especially in the drugstore. I know that there's the Tarte Maracuja oil and then there's like the Josie Marin Argon oil, but then those are really expensive. So I I don't know. I can't like put I can't put my, my mind to it at the moment. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, but so far this works great to just take off my lashes easily. I know that this isn't a monthly favorite, but for the past few weeks. Um, I've really been loving these Shop Miss A eyelashes. Uh, they're AOA brand lashes and today I'm wearing the style Alexis. Um, so far I've been wearing like the other lashes that they've been selling on their website, the Kara lashes, but I've been using Kara lashes for years and years and years. My favorite style are Wispies, Demi Wispies, and number 47. Sometimes 46, but I like 47. And so I really enjoyed those, but as for this whole month, I really loved the Tarte Goddess Lashes. Let me show you. I feel like these go with every single type of look. They are just the perfect length. They're a medium length and they have such a nice flair to them. I don't really see a lot of people talking about Tarte Lashes and I feel like they are very underrated. Like. They are so good. They're so comfortable. Right when I put them on, they conform to my eyes. They're easy to apply, easy to take off, and they, it's just amazing. And I bought myself another pair. They're vegan and cruelty free, by the way. As some of you guys may notice in a lot of my tutorials, I've been using the Shot Miss A AOA Studio Wonder Skin. Um, I accidentally grabbed the poreless primer, but I meant to grab the perfecting smoothing primer. I think that's what it's called. And either one is really, really good. I've been using the other one more though, uh, just because I feel like these feel so good on the skin. They moisturize my skin as well as making my face feel just a little tacky in order for my foundation to stick. It makes my um, foundation uh, application look a little smoother. Not like a complete drastic change, but it does look smoother and I really enjoy it just because it is a dollar and it is affordable and it's something that I know that I can rely on. And I've mentioned this before, but aren't you guys ever skeptical about buying face products that are like more inexpensive, like one dollar inexpensive and I just feel like the stereotype that cheaper makeup is bad and they smell weird and all that stuff, like no. These don't smell weird, these actually smell so fresh and I don't know, they're just really good and I feel like you should at least try one. Try one. While I was at TJ Maxx and I was buying the Alba face wash, I came across the creme shop Fresh Brush Charcoal Detoxifying Brush and Sponge Shampoo, and this also preserves the hairs on your brushes. And I thought that this was really interesting just because it says it has charcoal in it, and I don't know, it was like $4.99, I wanted to give it a shot just because I've been washing my brushes with bar soap. <laughs> And I was like, okay, let me just get an actual brush cleanser. Let me see what this is all about. Like, do I like it? Do I not like it? And as a matter of fact, I think that this actually works amazing. It doesn't make my brushes smell weird. It doesn't make my brushes feel like they have soap on them. As for my sponges, it cleans them almost instantly. Like, I was on FaceTime with Michaela, and I legit squeezed one pump on my Shop Miss A Wonder Blender. And then I was, like, rubbing it around in a little bit of water. And then I just, like... Damp I like really saturated it with water and then I squeezed it out and all of the foundation just went away and she was like, what? That was really quick and I agree, it was really quick and I don't really hear a lot of people talking about the creme shop. I know they like my pictures on Instagram but I never really tried their products. I have some of their face masks but I mean I want to venture into their brand a little bit more as well. I've also been using the crap out of this brush. This is the Marc Jacobs no name brush. Uh, I got this as a gift for my birthday from my sister. This came in the Marc Jacobs Your Place or Mine brush set and I've only been using this brush. Like out of that entire expensive ass brush set, this is the only one that I've been using for contour, for bronzer. It's just really big but it gets a job done and I used it on my cheeks today and all I do is like a few swipes and it's on. I could leave the house. It's so easy. It's so dense, but so flexible. So that's what I really enjoy about it. I mentioned this brand in a few of my tutorials. This is the brand My Looking Glass, and they sent me some soft texture longwear eyeliner. And no joke, you guys, I think that this is actually the best eyeliner I've ever used. Cole, 
liner wise and that's just because I can apply it and not set it and it won't smudge it won't leave my waterline at all like it is there for sure it's better than the Marc Jacobs eyeliners it's better than my oh my god it's better than my bare minerals lasting line that's my ride or die this is better than the 24 7 urban decay glide on pencil like this is everything and it's so inexpensive i think the last time that i checked i think these were like around 12 dollars i don't know i forgot because they sent me this but it is so good i have the colors dark brown and black and I've been wearing it every single day and it just hasn't done me dirty and I totally recommend these to you guys like if they stay in your waterline without setting it hell yeah get these now my most treasured item for this month has to be the kiss lash glue this is my savior this helped me through everything this is infused with aloe this is just it saved me so much and I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my sister, Walmart for this lash glue. Just because it is so good, it's, it's by no means as strong as the House of Lashes lash glue, but it helped my lash line not be as irritated, it helped it not be as raw, and it's easy to take off. So I think that's really amazing. It stays, it stays put all day, um, but as for like, removal wise it's easy to remove so I think that's amazing and it's only three dollars only three dollars that's cheaper than duo lash glue you guys and this is infused with aloe it doesn't stink like butt don't you guys think duo lash glue smells like butt because I think it smells disgusting I lied to you guys I actually have two misses for this month but I mean hey Okay, I'm letting you guys know. So as I mentioned earlier, I want to get into more cruelty-free hair care products. And I think that's really hard to come by for some odd reason. And a lot of you guys have been DMing me, messaging me, and telling me that I need to try Not Your Mother's. So I got this little travel size of Not Your Mother's. Um, this is the Royal Honey and Kala... Hari Desert Melon. It's a repair and protect leave-in conditioner. It helps repair and prevent signs of damage. And I love leave-in conditioners. I love like thick creamy leave-in conditioners. I've never tried a spray one before and I think that could have been my fault just because I already know what I like and I are, I gravitated sort towards something that was different. Um, I just feel like this didn't do my hair any justice. I have thick hair and I have a lot of it. So this didn't get through any of my hair as much as I wanted it to and when I combed out my hair it was still tangled. Um, after I left it in for a whole entire day my hair was still tangled. It felt dry and I just felt like I needed more. This wasn't offering me enough and I just felt like I was spraying and spraying and spraying in my hair, on my hand, rubbed it in my hair. Nothing was happening and so I don't know. So far, first impressions aren't that good, but let me know what your favorite Not Your Mother's product is. I heard from one of my friends that the dry shampoo was good. Um, I'm getting through my last bottle of Batiste that's in my room. And also, if you guys know of a scalp spray that's cruelty-free, please let your girl know because my favorite scalp spray from Head & Shoulders isn't. And... I just need a scalp spray because I am prone to dandruff and I just need it. I need it. Now sadly you guys have seen me use this product on and on and on on my channel but unfortunately it is a miss just because it caused me so much physical harm. It hurt me. And it's the House of Lashes Eyelash Glue. I don't know if I mentioned this in last month's hits and misses but I want you guys to know that this is the culprit of why my lash line has been stripped raw, was irritated, red, puffy, unmanageable, and it just hurt. Like, it hurt so much to the point where my eyes would just water, and I just think that whatever ingredient is in this lash glue, it's strong. And I, did, I didn't even know I had, like, sensitive eyelids or whatever, and I've gone through... I think I've gone through like almost three bottles of this and I'm so sad to part ways with it just because it's so good and I could cry with this with this lash glue I could do literally anything it's so bulletproof but the fact that I couldn't 
wear makeup for the fact that I couldn't do anything without my eyelashes hurting it was kind of like I have to let you go this is a toxic relationship We've gotta break up so hopefully um, that situation doesn't happen to you with this lash glue and I know that if you watch Luster Lux this the same thing happened to her with this eyelash glue so I have no idea if you know if a prolonged use of this eyelash glue is bad but she, she's gotta go. <laughs> that wraps up this month's hits and misses. I hope you guys really enjoy and as always I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts!